I would like the true answer to this because yeah. everybody wants to know. Right. And I don't think that you came on the same way as Melissa and Joe came on. No. And I want to make this very, very clear. Yeah. And Kathy and I have discussed this. I'd like the whole world to know because they're all still asking. Oh, yeah. right. How were you? Right. So how did they ask. really? Like, how oh did how did they come to you? And was it? And I, don't, I want it to be, you know, um, a multiple of answers. Right. And now you go from a, a wonderful housewife of a mother of two, lovely boy and girl, a stay-at-home mom with a right. husband. And a regular, I loved every minute uh, of that. Right, that yeah. you loved, and I'm 100% for that, to being on a reality show. Now right. this is your own career, girl. Oh, yeah. You're a housewife. Yeah. You didn't even wear a friend. You're a housewife. So go ahead. Go. So... Yeah, like you said, I was a stay-at-home mom. You know, I was a Your hairdresser. Choice. Yeah, I, I was a hairdresser. And, it, like, for me to put my kids in daycare, it just nope. wasn't It wasn't for nope. me at that point. And you had a husband. And who, I had a husband. And who he can was, provide. And he could. And so I was very grateful for that. Because a right. lot of, did I want to go back to work? Sure, a part of me wanted something just for me. But then I, you know, after you talking with my mom and, you know, my mom was working with my dad at the time, and so it was like really difficult yeah. for me to just say, "Oh, mom, I Can didn't you want to put it." Yeah, and I didn't want to. The cost of daycare at the time crazy wasn't uh, wasn't working out no. with the the cost of my the pay of my salary. It was, right. wasn't, wasn't like I was going back to work for benefits right. or I would lose seniority or anything right. like that. So I was like, "I'm going to stay home. I have these Good kids. I'm going to be a stay home mom." Yeah, did I miss it? Yes, but I was very fortunate that I was able to. Having said that. Richie in the service station business here in New Jersey, it's 24 7, 365 so days. So he was a gone. Year. He said, he I was, was gone, gone a lot. lot. And, yeah. and, and he grew in his business so quickly. Within the year that I met him, he grew from having one or two gas stations to having 12. Wow. It was like. See, I didn't know any yeah, of this. I it thought was, it was the one Exxon in Wayne. No, no. He had multiples. Okay. okay. Yeah. That was after the one in Wayne. But right. anyway. So now, now my kids are getting older and I'm like, I need to do something. They don't need me as much. And it doesn't do them a good service to be there doing everything for them. They needed to learn a little bit more independence too. Um, they're in middle school. Uh, so I'm like, Rich, you know what? Should I go back to hairdressing? Maybe I'll just get a job in Neiman Marcus or right. something like that. You do know, a beat around something. clothes, whatever, or open up a business. But a business at that time, again, the kids still needed me. And I wasn't ready to depart. And you have to be married to your business when you exactly. first started. And he and that's what he said. Listen, um, my businesses are so, you know, demanding. I, you know, it would it be was hard. a catch twenty two. Exactly. So then all of a sudden, and I had been entertaining and cooking a lot, yeah. and you know, baking and just throwing parties and stuff like that. Okay. Being this really great hostess. Okay. At now, the time. not only was she a hostess, I have to brag a little bit more. So Richie's family. Okay, spoke a different language. Oh, yeah. A yeah. very hard language. Yes, what was the did. language? Called? Arabic. Arabic. Yeah. I don't even, listen to me, I don't even know one word in Arabic, yeah. okay? And I could speak a lot of different, I know some were probably right. from say, you know? Right. Now, Kathy learned the language. Yeah. She learned the language so that she can sit and speak with his family. That is above and beyond. How did you do that? Well, did you more so or? so I could understand what was happening. Yeah, you didn't like you know? people talking shit behind your back. Right. Like, I felt, <laughs> well, kind of, I felt like left out yes, of the conversation. Yes, They spoke in the house fluently. Fluently. And that was their first language. But they, but his parents spoke English very, very well. As right, well. But, but that's what they spoke. But in the community, together, they spoke Arabic. So and how did so, you learn? So it was like one bit of a conversation, one word from a conversation. Okay. I would ask my sister-in-law, so what does oh. this mean? And then I would re re retain it. I have a very good ear for languages okay. growing up in a- And you know Italian. A, so right. once you know a couple different it languages- helps. Yeah. So I picked it up just like that. Now I understand everything. Speaking is a little, a little harder. A more difficult. Yeah. But I can, you know- I could speak it too. I could hold the conversation. Let's put it that way. It's not the greatest conversation, but, but, but I can get know. by. Yeah. Okay. I just had yeah. to get that out. Yeah. So go ahead. Get there. So finished. So, um, so anyway, we, uh, I, so in, I was thinking about getting back to, to work and all that stuff. And, um, I get, we're in Florida. My daughter had just had her, it was her 16th birthday. And we threw this big, 
uh, Sweet 16 party again because of what she had gone through. Yes. I'm not big How old was she when she parties. when that happened? She was 10 years old the first time. 10 years time. old yeah. when she had. Yeah. So yeah. She, had, she had collapsed on the beach. We were in Florida. They found a brain tumor. Benign, But thankfully. thank God. Yes, yeah, she's she, okay. She but but that's a huge part of Yeah, and she it was her, her birthday and Richie's birthday is the same day. So they okay. wanted, I said, like, let's celebrate in a big yes. way for her. Because of everything that she's 1, gone through. percent And she loves to party. So we throw this big party at the Brownstone. The okay. Brownstone is like uh, our go-to place. I've known yeah. them forever and ever and ever. Yep. I've had plenty there, yeah. too. So we, we throw the party. And before the party, I went shopping for dresses. I was went to Englewood and one of the boutiques, you know, she was like, oh, can you send me, you know, a picture of you in the dress? I got a, uh, I think it was called a Mandalay. Is that? I know, yeah. Mandalay, Mandalay, Mandalay dress. Was they were huge dress. back then. Yeah. Beautiful. And it was like Kim Kardashian was just yes. wearing all those dresses, yes. right? So I got one of those dresses. It was gorgeous. She goes, oh, I want to put it up on our website, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think that that had something to do with it mm -hmm. because they would scout restaurants. Yes, they did. They would scout salons. They would scout boutiques. They would scout things like that. And we had belly dancers at this party. Right. And I put all the p pictures up on Good Facebook, yeah. on my personal Facebook, right. you know. Um, and, uh, you know, it got... I guess it, you know, it gets it put in people's feed. But at that time, you didn't get other people's stuff unless you requested them or you went Correct. specifically looking for Or they for were it. your friend and then somehow. Exactly. Yes. It was different than it is right. now. Anyway, I get this inbox. We're in Florida, my husband and I, and we're in, I get this inbox. And I think it was, I should have looked for that. I told you I was going to look for that uh, We can find it message. later. Yeah. We can find it. Anyway, it said, hi, my name is so-and-so. I'm a producer I for TV. And I do, um, we produce shows for like TLC. Okay. We produce shows for Cake, uh, we do Cake Boss, um, some shows on Bravo and uh, Food Network. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh. That Food Network here I would am. have been perfect, right? Yeah, here I am. I was, had gone to, been going to a lot of events, yeah. cooking demonstrations and things like that, because it was my thing and I loved it, baking right. things, you know? So I thought, oh. But at first, I thought it was a joke. I thought somebody was teasing because, me. Because, yeah. Because all my friends okay. used to say, you really need to have a cooking show. Because when I would entertain, I would do, like, Phenomenal. theme the, nights. The pictures you know? are insane. They're insane. I would do theme nights, like Middle Eastern night, Greek nights, Spanish night, all these different nights. And I'd have it, like, soup to nuts That's and decorate so and all that I stuff, right? I love to entertain, too, but I have other people cook. I, I'm, I, yeah. I, I know how to yeah. cook. Yeah, but, but it's hard when you're, yes. you know, because yes. then what do you do with everything, right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I get this message and I think, first of all, that it's a joke. And then I tell my husband, I sit on it for a few days. I get another message. And then I'm like, Rich, I got this message. He goes, well, and I was very naive. I had just started Facebook. Okay. Yeah. I didn't have any of the other social right. media. If you'd like to hear the rest, join my Patreon. It's $10 a month. Get real with Kim D.